Jack Kramer, famous player of the past, probably best known for having his name on a, on a tennis racket, but one of the great players of the middle of the century. He was one of the first players to really develop the idea of percentage tennis. And what he noticed was that a lot of players played in patterns. And so he felt that if he could set up a pattern that always or tended to work in his favor more often than not, he's getting a good percentage chance to win the point. So one of his plays was that he, ability, he developed the serve to be able to hit the ball hard to this target right here, pull his opponent off the court. And when that player returned the serve, he found that because the player was off the court, a lot of times the ball had to come back toward the center. So Kramer not only practiced this serve a lot, but he also practiced the options off of a ball coming back through there. And he would take that ball and he would make a target over here on this side of the court that he would practice hitting to so that no matter what TC would do with his return, Jack Kramer would hit the next ball deep to this corner. TC's running back to hit his passing shot and the odds are not good that he's going to win that point. There are certain patterns that you can develop in your game that have a high payoff. Now to keep somebody honest, if, if Kramer served every ball to that spot, eventually somebody steps over and he's going to start hitting big forehands. So in order to really keep somebody honest, he had to be able to hit this serve also. So that as soon as TC edges over to get a little bit of an edge for that forehand, now Kramer's able to hit this ball, Kramer slash Sue, to this spot. Okay, let's see you do that. There it is. Okay, now we want TC to be able to do different things. So one of the things that, that uh, I would like to see somebody also be able to do is to be able to take a ball that they might look like they're going to attack off the approach shot and chip and charge and actually make that into a drop shot. So let me step in here just for a second. And Sue, give me whatever serve you want. I'm going to attack the net behind this and come in. Or I can look like I'm going to do that. and do that. And if I can do that effectively, I'm going to keep Sue not only from knowing whether I'm coming in on a deep ball or hitting her a drop shot, but when I mix that with going cross court and I mix that with staying back and coming in some of the time, I can keep her guessing throughout most of the match. 